something. Imagine if the Canadian government put as much effort into tracking down sex offenders and gun smugglers in this country as they are in stepping on the human rights of innocent Canadian citizens. You are no longer officers in the sense that you were when you signed up for the job. You are the enforcement arm for the Liberal Party of Canada under a self-declared dictator named Justin Trudeau. You do not have to follow these orders. You can call in sick. You can change jobs. You do not have to trample an elderly Mohawk woman with a horse. And before anyone out there says, well, she chose to be there, it's her own fault. No, she did not choose to be there. Like her people, hundreds of years ago, she had no choice but to show up and stop governments from murdering innocent people. And whether they murder them through injection and adverse reactions or economic punishment or suicide from isolation, it is murder. The people in Ottawa have no choice. They have no choice. You think clearing this protest on Parliament Hill ends this? We're just getting started. What are you going to do when there's a million protesters next time and what, 10,000 officers? You're going to dump your magazine on helpless children and women? If you are upset about this protest, if you want it to end, if you truly want to start enforcing the law in this country, you start by enforcing the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Direct your anger, your frustration at your sergeant. Your sergeants can direct them to their captains. The captains can direct them to the chief. The chief can direct it to the politicians. They are the problem. Turn on them. Say, end the mandates, end the passports. This is wrong.